Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. Today we're going to be doing a problem called is subsequence 392 and it is uh, pretty basic. So I would say if you're a beginner getting into the algorithms, this is a good problem to start with. Maybe do a couple other ones and then come to this one. This is a pretty easy one. Uh, given a string S and a string T. So we're given two strings, S and T. Check if S is a subsequence of T. So we want to check if uh, S can be found within T. So for example, we have these test cases here, like example one, ABC, can we find ABC within um, A, H, B, G, D, C? Yes, here's A, here's B, here's C. Um, can we find AXC within A, H, B, G, D, C? No, because there's no X in here. Okay. Um, you may assume there is only lowercase English letters in both S and T. T is potentially a very long length, uh, greater than or equal, or around 500,000. S is usually short, around 100. Uh, subsequence of a string is a new string, which is formed from the original string by deleting some, uh, can be none of the characters without disturbing the relative positions of the remaining characters. So ace is a subsequence of this because, um you can delete some of the characters, but we're not moving the positions. So a subsequence is ace is found within this. Ace is found within A, B, C, E, because if we delete the B and the D, we get ace. But A, E, C is not because we would have to rearrange the positions. Okay, there's a very strict definition for you. So how do we solve this? Well, uh, first thing we can do is if s is length of zero, well then it's definitely a subsequence because uh, that's not even that's uh, nothing is definitely in everything. That's how it works. Uh, so if s dot length is equal to zero, we will return true. This is a boolean method, so all we have to do is return true or false. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to get pointers to the beginning of t and the beginning of s. So we'll say int s pointer and we'll set it to zero, and int t pointer, we'll set that to zero. These are going to loop through our string. In the main condition, since which one's gonna be longer, uh, t is potentially the longer one, okay. So we're gonna loop through all of t looking for all the characters of s, right? So we're gonna say while t pointer is less than t dot length, then we're gonna say, okay, t pointer plus plus. And what we're gonna do is within here, we're going to look for while we loop through the whole giant string, we're gonna look through for all the letters of that smaller subsequence. And if we find those, we'll return true. And if we don't, outside of here, we'll just return false. So return false if we don't find it because we're gonna be looking for it in here. So uh, T pointer increments, everything's moving along, but we'll do a check. We'll say, okay, well, if T dot char at, so if we're looking at the current character of uh, the T string, the bigger string, at the index, we're just looping through, increasing it each time, so we're getting longer and longer, like we're moving along, is equal to the uh, s, the string of s, at s's index, which is zero, so we'd look for the first letter first, so we're looping along the big string, and then we're looking for the first letter of the smaller string. Okay, we find it. What we can do in that case is we can increment the smaller pointer. So we could say s pointer, plus plus if we find a match here. And uh, T pointer will keep incrementing anyway. So that looks like that's pretty much it. Oh, no, 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 we can also do a check in here. One more check. Uh, if S pointer after the increment, after we increment S pointer, if S pointer is equal to S dot length, that means that we have found all of the letters of the string S within T, because we're looping through the giant string, we're checking for all the characters, incrementing each time, moving the pointer along for the smaller string, and once if we hit this condition where the pointer is equal to the end of the smaller string, we found every character, that's a valid subsequence, so we can return true. That's pretty much all there is to this problem. Didn't even uh, submit before I made this video. So there we go. That was right off right off the um, right first try. So there we go. Uh, it's just looping through the string. So it's linear uh, run time, time complexity, constant space. We're not using extra storage. Uh, the only thing I would, would say is I did see this before. 
since the problem's pretty easy. I mean, it is an easy problem. I would count this as, like, definitely it. But, I mean, there are some crazy people going with this crazy binary search thing. Uh, most binary search problems are medium difficulty, though, so I'm pretty sure you're not asked to implement this. I'm sure there's, like, follow-up questions. Uh, I saw there's, like, some follow-ups after this. But let me know if you have any questions about this in the Discord. Uh, just the link's in the description for Discord and... Um, or Patreon or whatever, and uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.